they told of us as we fugaw say mayat an argo kiti takun nam in today my name is Robins Bagilat and today I will be discussing about the Ifugaos but first let us know the history of Ifugao. Ifugao was formerly known as a part of the old mountain province. It was created as an independent province on June 18, 1966 by virtue of Republic Act No. 4695, otherwise known as the Division Law of Mountain Province. Under this law, Mountain Province was divided into four provinces namely Benguet, Ifugao, Kalinga, Apayao, and Mountain Province. The word Ifugao means hill. The Spaniards changed Pugo to Pugao and was finally changed by the Americans to Ifugao. The province of Ifugao is a land located area located at the foot of the Cordillera mountain ranges. It is bounded by the high peak mountain of Benguet in the western side, Nueva Vizcaya on the southern side, Isabela on the eastern side, and on the north by the protruding trip of the territory of Mountain Province. First, we will discuss the Ifugao's art, which is the Wano. Main traditional for male Ifugaos doing the Wano or G-string, there are six types of Wano which are used depending on the occasion or the man's social status. Ifugao women, on the contrary, wear tapis uh, wrapped around skirt. There are five kinds of skirt worn depending on the occasion and or status of the women. Next is their dialect. There are four types of dialect in the Ifugao. The first one is Amganad Ifugao spoken in Hongduan and Banawi municipalities of Ifugao province. Next is Batad Ifugao or also known as Ayangan Ifugao, spoken in Central Ifugao province. The next is Mayawyao Ifugao or Mayawyao, spoken in Ifugao province. And the last is Tuali Ifugao, Gilipanis Ifugao, Kiangan Ifugao, or Kiangan or Tuali, spoken in Southern Ifugao. Next is we will be discussing their beliefs or rituals, which is the Baki. Baki is a traditional ritual performed by a Mumbaki, which is mostly male. The Mumbaki does not accept payment for his performance, but if you want to give compensation, it's up to him if he accepts. The purpose of this ritual is to appease the Aamod or the ancestral spirits, the gods, and the deities. They also believe in Maknongan, a supreme super being in the sky world. They believe that it has the power to bless and protect the people and drive the evil from inflicting disease and evil curses or wishes for an enemy. Next is their architecture. The Ifugao house were usually similar in architectural designs but they differ in decorative details depending on the tribes. Their houses were harmoniously located with the contour of the rice terraces. The one room house of the Ifugao commonly known, known to them as fail. The exterior of the house seems to be nothing but a pyramid resting on four posts. 
while the interior space is enclosed by slamming walls and ceiling that appears to be spherical, spherical that are found by the law. Next is their custom, which is chewing of betel nut. And also, it is known in the Asian continent popular in the Pacific, South Pacific Islands, Southeast Asia, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, and has been used extensively since antiquity. Bitunat, or as they fugao say, Moma, is chewed regularly by at least 10% of the world population and acknowledged as the fourth most widely used addictive substance. People chew it for stress reduction, feeling of well-being, and heightened awareness. But betel nut chewing has also been associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Next is their norms. Monogamy is the norm among the Ifugao, but some wealthy families practice polygyny. Incest prohibition extends to first cousins. Marriage to more distant cousins can only be arranged after the payment of livestock penalties. Trial marriage between Prospective couples is common. Courtship rituals take place at the girls' houses. Wealthy families have traditionally arranged marriage through intermediaries. Families exchange gifts and maintain close ties after the marriage. Newlyweds often spend more some time living with their parents before setting up housing of their own, often near a large rice field. Majestic Banawi Rice Traces, located in Banawi, Ifugao. It is a man-made structure, signifies the brilliant and ancient engineering skills of the Ifugao people. The other one is the Kiangan Shrine is one of the historical Ifugao tourist spots. It signifies the locals' valiant resistance against the Japanese invaders. In fact, this is where General Yamashita and his troops informally surrendered, thus officially ending World War II in the Philippines. The other one is Ambuaya Lake. Located in Ambabag, Kiangan, Ifugao. Don't expect bu buaya, Filipino term for crocodiles, when you come here, because there are none. However, the lake does hold mysterious mysteries of its own. According to local legend, the lake used to be a community. It suddenly turned into a lake after some children killed and made fun of leeches on a nearby spring. Another one is Tapia Falls. Tapia Falls is one of the famous tourist spots in Banawa Ifugao. It cascades on the face of a massive rock cliff for more than 75 meters. Again, thank you for listening to our small discussion. If you ever want to visit Ifugao, please do so. There are lots of tourist spots, history, and many more. Thank you.